children. So this week you've been doing all about subtraction and today we're moving on our subtraction to drawing sets to solve subtraction's problems. Subtraction, if you're not sure of that word, is what we also called, call take away. Sometimes we call it subtraction. Sometimes we call it take away. It means the same thing. Okay. Now, already you've had a go at using your counters to solve some subtraction problems. If your grown-up thinks that you still need to keep practising with that, it's important for you to nail that first, okay? So if you're still getting used to counting out the set and solving the subtraction problem, stick with that. That's absolutely fine. If you have got the hang of that and you're ready to move on, that's when we're going to come and do this one here. So... We looked at drawing sets when we did addition. Remember, a drawing a set means drawing the amounts we need to use. Let's read this first number sentence. Four. What does that mean? Be careful. Last week we did about addition, but this week we are taking away. So this sign here is the take away sign. So this says for take away two. Can you remember what this sign was? Equals. Remember how many are there now? But instead of that we say equals. Let's read it again. For take away two equals. So I'm going to draw my set. How many do I need to start with? Yes, my first number always tells me how many to start with. So I need to start with four. Let me draw and count. One, two, three, four. Stop at that number. Four. Four. Take away two. Well, that's a bit tricky because I can't move them away, can I, like normal? So how am I going to take away two? Hmm. I think I'm going to take two away by crossing them out. One, two. So how many are left? Four, take away two equals how many? One, two, there are two left. Four take away two equals two. Grown-ups, remember if your children are finding it tricky with the take away sign or the equal sign, they can have a look at that link there that will support them a little bit more. So have a go at drawing the sets to solve these take away problems. If you're really good at that and you're really getting the hang of it, You've got the challenge at the bottom. Here, or on the back of your paper, you're going to write some takeaway sentences that your grown-up says. They're going to say the numbers and take away and equals. That's what you need to use in your sentences. When you've written the number sentence, you then need to solve it by drawing the sets. Good luck. Give it a good go.